down it's like I'm looking down in real life oh it's got gyro sensors the HMD I mean of course there isn't a lot of software that supports it yet this is like sci-fi I can't believe it you must play with this all the time huh hmm no not so much actually the thing is I don't really use it to play so much it's more like uh, therapy actually therapy you're sick? Nah, I wouldn't say sick. I just have a little fear of heights, that's all. I'm just using this virtual reality program to try and cure myself or something. Cure yourself? You can do that? Yeah, it's totally legit. Phobias and obsessive compulsive disorders and stuff like that can all be overcome if you just expose yourself to the source. You... Oh, you mean like exposure therapy, right? But you probably know more about that kind of thing than I do, don't you? Looks like Dad's home from work. Your dad, he works for Dai Nippon Bio, right? Yeah. Actually, he's been living out here for three years already. Mm. You know, in the big picture, I don't have it so bad. Fear of heights is nothing. You've got it way worse. Even now, are you still scared? You dream about it, right? I mean, you're still getting counseling every week, right? Yeah, but... but it's not like I really need it anymore. But you still have bad dreams, right? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you try some exposure therapy, too? You could pay a little visit to the place where your fears all started. It's no good today, since it rained and all. But I hear you can still make it down to the old Kamewa village if you try. Come on, I'll go with you. The hospital's right by the dam, just waiting for us. You've never been back there, have you? Welcome home. Sorry I'm late. Will you set these out for me? Mm-hmm.
Hey, Mom? Yes? You still have dreams, don't you? Um, well, no, not really. I haven't had any dreams since I started taking my medication. It would probably be better if I still had them, though. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't say that if you lived with him. Are you afraid of your sister? No, I don't think so, at least. I mean, she's just my sister, after all. I don't know. I'm not sure what makes me so scared all the time. Exposure therapy, you say? Does that sort of thing really get rid of phobias? It's possible. Some people claim that it does, but everyone has different approaches. For example, some counselors are critical of EMDR and TFT, but those are my preferred methods in this case. I suppose it depends on the patient. So if we look at your trauma, there isn't a physical object that your fear comes from. Therefore, it wouldn't be very practical to treat it with exposure therapy. If you don't mind, after our session next week, I'd like to make a trip to your house and meet your parents. Oh, uh, sure. I'll let them know. Uh. So you make up your mind? Well? Well? Mm. Really? I didn't think you'd be up for it. All right. We'll meet at Kamewa Shrine next Sunday at 1 p.m. sharp. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? thing you're afraid of are heights. Trust heights. Trust heights.
Yo! Uh, sorry, I'm late, huh? Nah, it's no big deal. We're still waiting for someone else to show up. W what do you mean? Who? Uh, here he comes now. Uh. <laughs> you think this is some kind of joke, you little punk? What the hell's he doing here anyway? I might ask you the same thing. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's all good. No need to get worked up over nothing, right? Just think of it as an adventure. The more the merrier, as they say. <clears throat> I'm going home. Screw you. Huh? What a shame. You act all cool, but you're really nothing but a big pussy. <laughs> no. <clears throat> hey, you guys! You need a building site sanctified? Actually, we're holding a retreat on that day. Uh, let's see. Surely we can work something out. Let me think here. Maybe we could... Huh? What was that? <gasps> Don't think I won't kill you. I got no problem with that at all. Cut it out! Masayuki's afraid of heights, Makoto! This is a shrine, not a playground, you brats! <sighs> Pumped by a little girl. I wanted you to come with us to the hospital down by the dam. Yeah, and I said I was going home, didn't I? Fuck off. I can't force you, but I think you need to go to the scene of the crime just as much as Taro does, since your dad was involved and all. So if I follow you little punks to this hospital, then you won't hassle me anymore? Of course. All right, fine. Huh? Let's do this. <laughs> You're not doing me a favor. I didn't ask for this. Nah, come on, it's fine. He didn't throw me off the steps, and he agreed to come along. Let's just leave it at that. Hey, something wrong? No, it's nothing. Let's see. According to this, it should be about an hour and a half from here. No, it's closer than that. Wait, you mean you've been there already? By the way, Taro, have you and Makoto ever met before? Not really, right? No, but we still run into each other sometimes. Huh? Do you mean outside of school? My family's a branch of the Komoris. He's uh -huh. saying we're related. Huh? Take a little break. Want some? Oh, how generous. So how's your mom, Taro? She doing okay? Same old, same old, I guess. Hm. How about your granny? Beats me. Hardly ever see her. Even though you live together? Wow. This is kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense in a way. The two of you being related to each other, I mean. I sure am glad the two of you decided to come. It's perfect. 
Don't give me that crap. You just wanted company. It doesn't matter who. Hey, is that really true? Well, actually, if it wasn't the three of us, this whole trip would be completely meaningless. I've been reading into the history of this hospital, and there's some pretty interesting stuff. There are a lot of weird rumors about the place that have nothing to do with the kidnapping. You're talking about the curse, right? What a load of crap. A curse? What kind of curse? That dam has been there for something like 30 years now. But the hospital is still accessible when the water dries up. So, high school and middle school kids have been sneaking out there for years whenever the town hits a dry spell. A year after the dam was built, three local kids went down there on some kind of bet. And then, when they went inside the hospital... Believe it or not, they found a hidden chamber underground. It was real weird. Almost like some kind of dungeon or something. Only one of the kids was brave enough to actually go inside. And after that, he saw something terrible. But no one knows just what it was. The three kids ran from the hospital. Two of them survived, but the one who snuck into that hidden room... ...died a day later. Is that really true? Nobody told me that. Of course not. Why would anyone bother? Just to scare you? Ah, <sighs> We finally made it to the top. Wow. So this is Turtle Rock. In that case... If I just step over here... Was I thinking? Why did I agree to this? Well, now what? We're going in, right? Hmm? Taro? I'm scared out of my mind. Why wouldn't I be? This is where my sister died. The boy who was held prisoner in this very place. With him? The boy whose father died in a mysterious suicide only one week after the kidnapping incident took place. You meet here at last, after all these years. I still don't see the point in coming here together. Sure, it makes sense for me and Taro. But now my question is, why the hell are you here, huh? Hmm. Earlier today, you know how you were saying you wouldn't have a problem with killing me, right? Well, I've done it. I've really killed someone. Uh Each of us has our own story. They aren't even necessarily connected. And yet, all three of us carry a burden that we can never really change. I admit, even after all this, the three of us may never truly be friends. But I still wanted us to come here together. Who knows? If we all do this, then just maybe we can change something after all. This ain't gonna change a damn thing.
月明かりにしてたる花びらにキスを不思議の国いざなうその神握ったままで少女は大人にならない怖がることなど何もないあなたは決して一人じゃないの People harbor extreme fears, phobias, of things that appear completely harmless to others. Why is it that our brains were designed this way? Why were we made to experience reactions that are completely beyond our control? What sort of survival instinct is fulfilled by suffering chronic fear from things that cannot harm us? Why must even our minds lie beyond our control? <laughs> 